Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video we're going to be doing some more exterior painting and what we're going to be painting is a French door. If you would like to purchase some of the similar tools that I use for this task please feel free to check out the links in the description below and also if you're planning on doing any other decorating works please feel free to visit my tool store. The link is also in the description below. So with that said, let's do this. The tools and materials that I'm using for this task is a filling knife, cork board, knotting solution, some 80 grade and 60 grade sandpaper, multi-tool scraper, dust brush, paint brushes, sash brush, paint kettle, decorators cork and cork gun, Zinza BIN and two part filler. And what's not in the picture is the paint that I used, which is Dulux water based weather shield undercoat and satin top coat. This is what we had been working on. And what I did was, was broke it down over three videos. The first being um, how we went about painting the fascia, soffit and gutter. The second video was how we painted the uh, French window. And this video, which is the third video, is going to be about painting the French door. Right, this is the French door that we're going to be painting. And I will be showing it all complete at the end of the video as well, so please feel free to stick around till the end. Right, so let's start off with the preparation. So first I'm just gonna sand this door edge so then I can um, shut the door. Then I'll go round with the pointy part of my multi-tool scraper and just scrape in between the glass and the bead bit. And I do this to make sure there's no loose paint on the glass because as painters we slightly lip onto the glass with the paint and it comes off and comes loose over time. So we just need to make sure but that's all scraped off. Then with me 80 grade sandpaper, I go around and sand all the bead, but be very careful not to scratch the glass when you're sanding. If you would like to know how I painted the fascia, gutter and soffit, or how I painted the French window, the videos will come up at the end of this video on an end screen. With the 60 grade sandpaper, I sand the flat bits. Once I've fully scraped, sanded the top half of the door, I'll give it a good dust down with my dust brush. Then we set to work sanding the bottom half of the door and giving it a scrape where needed then dusting the bottom half of the door off. As we've been sanding, I've been noticing these knots bleeding through, so we need to deal with this. So what I do is just use this knotting solution and 
go over all the knots that are bleeding through. Right, I've them weather boards at the bottom of the door are sort of half hanging off, but I couldn't get them um, fully off because I didn't want to prize them anymore and risk breaking the door. So I never have my electric multi-tool um, with me to be able to cut it out. But just to let you know, I do replace the weather boards. Right, with the Zinza BIN, I just go around the spot prime, any bare bits of wood and any bits of um, knotting solution just to cover them a bit more and to give the um, knots that bit more protection because the Zinza BIN is shellac based as well. Right, once all that's dry, we're ready to do some filling and these are some of the areas that we're going to need to fill and for this I use Ron Seal two part filler. Remember to fill as clean as you can because the cleaner you fill, the less it is to sand. Once your two part filler is dry, it's ready to sand. And I like to use the 60 grade sandpaper for sanding the two part filler. Right, once it's all been sanded, give it another dust down, then it's ready for undercoating. Just like when we sanded the edge first, we paint the edge first. Before I start painting the door, I'll just paint this, this part of the door frame. When I'm painting this door, first of all I go around and cut into all the glass and for this I use a 15mm sash brush. These sash brushes are amazing for jobs like this. If you would like to purchase some sash brushes, please feel free to check out the links in the description below.
Once I've done all the cutting in bits, I then paint the flats and I bring it halfway down to about where the door lock would be. Right, now we've finished undercoating the top half, it's time to undercoat the bottom half. And I start off by undercoating these three panels first. Once it's undercoated, we then just need to do a little bit of corking, and these are some of the areas that we need to cork. Once you've corked it all and the cork's all dry, you can then just give it its top coat and just repeat exactly the same way that I did it with the undercoat, but with the top coat. I won't bore you with paint showing me painting the door again. Here's a reminder of what the door looked like before. And here's what it looks like now with its top coat. And here's what it all looked like before we started uh, work on it. And here's what it looks like now, it's all complete. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notified of when I release my next video. Remember, it is free. Also, if you want to leave a comment in the comment section, please do so because that's how we all learn and grow. Thank you very much for watching and take care.